a mystical artifact with stunning animal symbols, a complete home in Pompeii and an unknown queen from the Bronze Age, you won't believe the stunning things that archaeologists have recently brought back to light. While these silent witnesses open a vivid window into days long gone, they also bring to our attention another fact, the past is still full of mysteries. Basically, most archaeological finds fall into two categories. There are treasures found in the tombs of powerful rulers that are as rare as they are valuable, and there are quite ordinary everyday objects that can tell us something about the general population and life thousands of years ago. The unique bronze matrix recovered from the former military base of Sarmizegatusa in Romania is one such artifact, a press tool for jewelry making that is not only outstanding in terms of craftsmanship, but also reveals much about the ancient Dacians. The fact that the object, which is about 2,000 years old, came back to light at all is thanks to the power of nature. For example, a heavy storm had uprooted a tree, exposing the matrix and leading to its discovery in near-perfect condition. At that time, the Dacians were hiding deep in the forests of the Surianu Mountains in southwestern Transylvania. Situated on a 1-200-meter high mountain, Sarmi Zegatusa was comparatively easy to defend against Roman attacks. However, the site was destroyed during the Second Dacian War in 106 AD. The motifs adorning the matrix, in turn, provide a deep insight into the unique style of the Dacians. While the symbols were pressed in gold for jewelry making, this is the only known matrix found by this ancient mountain people. As is readily apparent, the Dacians had a great passion for depicting animals. The almost lifelike figures range from common domestic animals like dogs and goats to exotic creatures like rhinos, lions, and hippos. In detail, many of the animals were depicted fighting. This was a popular representation at the time, which the Dacians also shared with the Romans. The fact that the elephant, hippopotamus, and rhinoceros appear most frequently on the matrix is probably due to the fact that these animals were particularly common in the amphitheaters of the time. The fact that human and plant representations are completely missing seems a bit strange. However, there may be other matrices containing these symbols that have not yet been discovered. House in Pompeii. Your home is also bursting with archaeological artifacts. Well, provided that your possessions resist the gnawing ravages of time and are rediscovered thousands of years from now, of course. A new sensational find from Pompeii proves that what seems ordinary and insignificant today may be of outstanding interest in the distant future. The 2,000-year-old home of a middle-class family was recently found here. The fact that the site was christened the House of Lerarium is no coincidence. Thus, the building had a spacious room along with a niche dedicated to the worship of Lares, that is, the worship of household spirits who were supposed to protect one's household. On the lower floor, the experts discovered a storage room and a bedroom, the latter even containing a partially preserved bedstead and the fabric remnants of a pillow. Next to the bed, again, was a wooden chest with a small plate and an oil lamp depicting the mighty god Zeus transforming into an eagle. A three-legged side table, decorative bowls and plates, and small jars and amphorae were also awakened from their centuries-long sleep. In a hallway in front of the storeroom stood a wooden cupboard where cooking utensils and plates were stored. On the upper floor, which had collapsed into the floors below, archaeologists also recovered a number of artifacts, including seven wax tablets, several bronze vessels and a cradle-shaped incense container. The Queen of the Bronze Age Nearly 4,000 years ago, a woman in what is now Spain was buried with an array of precious jewelry. The strange thing, the man who was buried together with the woman did not receive any luxurious grave goods. Against this background, the question arises what the role of women in early Bronze Age Europe really was. Thus, the unequally distributed grave wealth suggests that the woman was clearly more powerful than her male companion during her lifetime. Some experts even interpret the find to mean that we are dealing with the final resting place of a queen. While the unknown dead is therefore also called the Princess of La Almaloya, the man may have been a warrior. The clear signs of wear on his bones suggest that he spent a lot of time on horseback. The scarred skull, in turn, suggests a severe facial injury 
that he may have suffered on the battlefield. Pits under Stonehenge Not far from the world-famous cult site Stonehenge, archaeologists from the universities of Ghent and Birmingham have discovered several pits. These were apparently used 10,000 years ago by prehistoric hunters. The size and shape of the pits suggest that they served as traps for large animals such as aurochs, wild boar, and red deer. In fact, in detail, we are dealing with the oldest known evidence of human land use in the region. Created between the years 8200 and 7800 BC, the pits show that the nomadic hunter-gatherers of the early Mesolithic period moved widely across the country. New Terracotta Warriors Discovered accidentally by farmers in 1974, the mausoleum of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huangdi, is world famous for one thing, its great terracotta army. And now the nearly 8,000 strong army of the dead ruler has received reinforcements. Thus, researchers discovered 20 new sculptures in pit number one, outside the secret tomb. Among the remarkable finds are statues of a general and an officer, but these are probably only the vanguard. While pit number one is bursting with infantry and chariots, it covers an area of more than 14,000 square meters. Archaeologists expect to find more than 6,000 ceramic figurines and horses in the course of further excavations. The oldest scene in the world. To the men among you, what would you do in the face of dangerous leopards? Would you try to stay calm, flee, or would you, well, get your best foot out? What sounds both strange and amusing to us is actually part of one of the most significant archaeological finds of the recent past. Discovered in Seyburk in southeastern Turkey, the depiction described is part of a former residential complex, and with an age of 11,000 years, it's also the oldest narrative scene in the world. While the images were carved into the backs of some benches, the second panel shows us a man with a rattle or snake facing a rampaging bull. Rare burial place. When a tomb is described by archaeologists as a once-in-a-lifetime discovery, it is immediately clear that we are not dealing with an ordinary find. Because, in fact, experts in Northamptonshire, England, stumbled upon a rare female grave that included a richly decorated necklace and face mask. Referred to as the Harpole Treasure, we are dealing with one of the most significant and valuable finds in the United Kingdom. The burial is believed to have taken place between the years 630 and 670 AD. However, only a few fragments of tooth enamel have survived from the deceased. Among the grave goods was an extravagant 30-piece necklace with pendants made of Roman gold coins and precious stones. A large cross was also found, as well as unusual silver casts of a human face with blue glass eyes. Given the size of the cross, researchers estimate that the woman may have been an early Christian leader. The oldest Mayan calendar, from the category It Can Happen, as a result of a misinterpretation of the Mayan calendar, many people were convinced that our world would end on December 21, 2012. Although the Maya actually believed that there could be a great flood at the end of the so-called 13th Bakhtun, they did not expect the apocalyptic end of the world. Despite this, the Mayan calendar still haunts the minds of creative thinkers and archaeologists to this day, and the sensational discovery recently made in Guatemala ensures that this will not change anytime soon. Because the researchers actually found here in a pyramid complex the oldest known Maya calendar of the world. The murals of the Las Pinturas Pyramid, for example, date from the late pre-classic period, from 400 BC to 200 AD. Within this era, the Maya also developed their writing systems and ultimately were on the verge of collapse. However, societies recovered during the first classic period. Among the symbols discovered is the date mark Seven Deer. The dating of the fragments thus suggests that the 260-day calendar was already in place at the beginning of the late pre-classic period. Previous discoveries were almost 150 years younger. And yet, exactly when the Maya developed their calendars is still a mystery. The Sarcophagi of Notre Dame When Paris's Notre Dame Cathedral caught fire in April 2019, the dramatic incident moved the entire world. But fortunately, no people were seriously injured at the time, and rescue workers also managed to bring most of the irreplaceable artifacts to safety. And indeed, the archaeological investigations that followed 
were to reveal some more spectacular discoveries. In addition to the colorful remains of the ancient foundation, these included two strange lead sarcophagi. An in-depth analysis was finally to reveal which two men were laid to rest at that time. And in at least one case, the experts hit the bullseye. One of the dead is the cleric Antoine de la Porte. As fate would have it, his lead coffin was fitted with a plaque revealing the name, profession, and time of death of the deceased. Thus de la Porte died in 1710, at the age of 83. During his lifetime, he was not only a canon of Notre Dame, but also extremely rich. Some paintings commissioned by the clergyman are still on display in the Louvre today. Things are somewhat less clear in the case of the second coffin. Presumably, the buried man died 300 years before de la Porte. The manner and place of burial indicate that he belonged to a noble family of high standing. 168 New Nazca Lines the Peruvian Nazca lines are undoubtedly among the most enigmatic relics of the past, and now that very mystery has received a major addition. With the help of high-resolution aerial photographs and drone images, researchers have managed to identify a total of 168 new geoglyphs. To date, it has not been conclusively clarified who made the oversized scars, and for what purpose. The only thing that is certain is that the enormous images can only be seen in their full glory from the air. The newly discovered specimens show people, camels, birds, whales, cats, and snakes. Click subscribe. The next exciting video will follow tomorrow.